Hey there! So today we're talking about how to get your uh, models from Maya to Substance Painter and then Substance Painter to Unity. That way you can make a wonderful game. So I'm just going to use a very simple model and just some simple extrusions on this cube would do just fine. Okay, perfect. So let's say this is my model that I would like to take into my game engine. First, I need some UVs. So I'm under modeling, and then at the top, I can press UV and then automatic. That's great. Go back into object mode, and I'm going to export this. File, export selection. Make sure it's an FBX, and I'm going to call this test cube 3. Now it's been exported, so inside a Substance Painter, I can go to File, New, and since I'm going to Unity, I'm just going to use the Unity template. And then under File, I can go to Select. This is where I select that FBX that I exported. And all of that looks fine for now, and hit OK. So now I have my mesh inside a Substance Painter. And I'm just going to add a paint layer onto this. Okay, and I can paint. Um, this isn't really a substance tutorial. I'm just kind of scribbling on here. Um, so you would do your hand painted textures or your smart materials or whatever you would like on this mesh. And let's do a new layer. And let's do another paint layer. Spice it up with some different colors. Yay. OK. So when you're all done painting, um, I'm on a Mac, so I press Command-Shift-E. Or I can go to, uh, that's a great question, File, Export Textures. When I do that, I need to place these textures where I want them to go. That way I can find them. Oh, uh, where is delete, 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 delete? Oh my goodness. Where's my delete folder? I don't see it. There it is. Delete. And then hit open. So it's going to send all these textures there. Hit export. And then let's go in and actually look at that folder that is called delete. All right, so inside of this, we now have test cube three. We have a Lambert texture. Okay, we also have the normal. And my painting had some height on it, which is going to be weird. That's okay. Cool. So we have these different things, three textures. Now inside of Unity, we are going to, in our project, right click, import new asset. I'm going to go to that folder, All right, desktop, delete, and then test cube three. Here's my albedo maps, my metallic smoothness, and my normal map, and then also the FBX. I'm going to press import. <laughs> Here's my textures. Here is my model. I'm going to drop this into my scene. Now, I didn't play with the scale when I exported, so it's really small. So I'm just going to increase that scale so I can see it. Okay. Oh, no textures. Well, that's because we need to create a brand new material. So I'm going to right click create material. And then we have these inputs. So we can select this and say, what is this? Oh, this is albedo transparency. So back in this, my material, here's my albedo channel. I'm going to left click and drag onto here. Okay, so that's input. Now I need my metallic. And this one is called metallic smoothness. Left click and drag this into the metallic channel and normal map. We know this is my normal map, so I'm going to left click, drag it into there. 
this little warning pops up. This texture is not marked as normal. I'm going to pick Fix Now. Okay, the last step is dragging this material onto my mesh. So you can see that since we gave this FBX UVs in Maya, it has lined up exactly how I have it inside a Substance Painter. Right? There's that kind of little W shape on the top, and then in Unity I have that. So everything is right where it needs to be.